Hello everyone and welcome back to Reentry, an orbital simulator. This is an early access game where you get to simulate the missions of Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo. It is still very much under development, but uh, there's quite a few features as it is. I did one short video on it previously and that was just me messing around taking a look at it. Uh, I'm gonna take my time going through stuff in this game because of course things are being added and I don't want to like pretend like I've exhausted the features or something like that. So I'll, I'll probably do a video every now and again. And this time I want to take on the Mercury missions, actually not the Mercury missions. I want to go to the Academy and do all the Project Mercury lessons. So um, maybe I should try and take the exam first and then uh, because there's a checklist and I could just use the checklist and then go through the uh, through the lessons to see what I did wrong. But let's let's go straight for the exam to see what I might mess up. That might be the most interesting way to go. Guide you through a full mission. Uh, see now if it's a if it's a exam should it guide me. Anyway, um, you will use what you learned in the previous lessons. I've only done like the first two, I think. I think I've done only the first two. So, let's see what happens. All right, welcome to the full mission lesson. This will take you into suborbital flight with a retrograde burn and splashdown in the Atlantic. Okay, Roger. Important to first check the mission pad after you ingress the cockpit. Do this now using M. Ooh, the music is still very loud and they haven't added a slider to adjust that. Well, we'll just have to deal with that. Okay, all right, we've checked the mission pad. Final checks, checklist, checklist, um, final checks. All right, run, and launch control left, ready. Arm squib, auto retro jettison. Okay, it seems to be ready. Ensure zero time cover is removed. Well, I mean, it didn't actually tell me that. Okay, UHF is set to transmit. Yeah, I mean, well, transmit is set to UHF, yeah. We're on low. I hope that's right, it doesn't say. Everything else seems fine. All right, well, I guess I'll prepare the ascent checklist. I guess we didn't have to go through all these other checklists, so. Well, here's our rocket. That's a heck of an escape tower. Okay, minute before launch, reviewing the launch checklist. Monitor abort light, monitor isolated battery voltage. Well, that I assume that's the DC volts down there. Monitor cabin pressure, that's there. Auto retro jettison switch off after tower jettison. That's over there. Retro jettison fuse off after tower jettison. Uh, I hope that'll point it out to me. And then monitor voltages and ammeter. Okay, well, we'll keep uh, that ready. Ten, nine, eight. Oh, they've got their own countdown, it's fine. I didn't even check that the clock started, but the clock started, it's fine. Okay, ascent checklist until capsule separation. Okay, I'm just looking to make sure no voltages go awry. I hope there's a scenario where voltages do go awry and you have to do something. That would be good. It's apparently a little bit cold in here. Let's 
devastate the external view. I don't really have to do much until... Ex oh, it doesn't let me go into external view right now. Well, shucks. I don't have to do anything until the tower actually jettisons, so... This is not an Atlas flight, this is a Redstone flight, so... Not as much to do anyway. At least it's gonna be quick. That's a weird external view. Oh, there we go. I didn't realize it was that late. I mean, 8 p.m. GMT. No, no, it's 3 p.m. Eastern Time, right? On July 1st? It should be daylight. Huh. Well, I guess that's why we don't need to be an external view. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got that. Where's the retro jettison thing? Okay. Falls. Okay, so we've done the things. Next checklist. Okay, we have separated. Explore using RCS. Yeah, well, this is suborbital. We have to get on with it. We don't have time to explore with jet, uh, RCS. We've got, we add Biko, so let's make sure we do the Biko thing. Um, false, okay. And Seiko is irrelevant. Orbit is not a thing. Fly by wire. Well, um, let me get to manual. So let's run that. Uh, manual out, out, and that to the right. Okay. So, let's see, external view. Oh, it's too dark. Well, I, uh, oh wait. Uh, let me get, there's nothing to act as a background to my, but I think I, oh, I have to prepare for retro already. I, I see my thrusters firing though. So, manual control works. God, it's, it's a rush. Okay, retro checklist, back. Uh, pre-retro. Okay. Uh, geez, that's a lot of things. Okay. That back up. Oh, that's it? Alright. Next checklist. Back. Retro. These will happen in order. Retro warn light. Retro sequence. Retro attitude. Retro fire. And that's all automated, I think. Are you sure I don't have to do anything for the retro anymore? No, it runs right through them. It says everything is fine. I never configured it to orbit, so I guess... I should probably have it on fly-by-wire if it's gonna manually... Uh, if it's gonna automatically do all this stuff. So, let's run the fly-by-wire thing. Mm, left... That in... Alright. Retro sequence has started. Retro attitude. Let's check the external view. Am I turning? I can't really see. It's supposed to be daylight. Darn it. Okay, there's there's the coast. Where's my capsule? I can't see anything. Well, things are happening, and I'm going down. Oh, and we fired retro. So retro is happening. Here to re-entry stuff. Okay, so that's happened. Retro jettison. Where are you? True. Attitude select. Hmm. This old retro attitude and jettison retro. They're orange. That doesn't make me feel very good. Makes me feel like I 
fired in the wrong direction. Because fire retro is green and retro attitude is... Oh, they, okay, that's fine. Oh, wait. Okay, well, I think we just in the retro. Landing time. Okay. Uh, everything seems to be alright except for UHF. We're only uh, about seven minutes in. Most of these several launches were just floating back down on the parachute. I don't have anything else to do. It's gonna be a little bit of a boring time on the parachute. Oh, well, there's the coast. We've already gone through all the forces. I didn't even notice, I was too busy flicking things. Bahamas have me in range. Roger. We'll, uh, on a different occasion, we will flick things and see what we can do to make things go wrong. And verify that they do go wrong. But that'll be for another time. We are still... Uh... Oh. Now we're re-entering. Huh. I was going like, wait a minute, our, our altimeter says we're at 100,000 feet still. Okay. Well, see, I totally didn't realize, I mean, can't go into external view. Totally didn't realize we hadn't actually passed through the atmosphere yet. Okay. The more you know. Now we're coming down fast. Still didn't see the what the accelerometer was doing. It's waiting for 0.05 G. There's a little dash there for the drogue and the snorkel. And then the main chute right there. So main chute comes out at about 10,000 feet. Drogue chute around 23,000 feet. So that's about 7,000 meters on the drogue. Oh, I hate that beep. I hate that beep. This is drogue though. Oh, thank goodness. We can go into external view and we don't have to hear that beeping. This is supposed to be a float, I think. I named my capsule Phoenix, so... Yep, it's gonna be a long trip down to the sea. It, it's still beeping. I'm gonna stay out here. Okay, we have splashed down. Successful mission. Okay, roger. Alright, 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 alright. End session. It didn't give me any more points. Darn it. Oh, well, it says certified Mercury pilot in the bottom there. I got an achievement unlocked. I'm a certified Mercury pilot. Totally didn't take the lessons, though. I just followed the checklist. Okay, so, being a certified Mercury pilot, I'm gonna skip those little tutorials, and we're, we're gonna do a historic mission. I think I'm ready for Atlas, darn it. So let's do that. And that allow me to do all the other things that we didn't get to do on the Redstone flight. Right? Okay, four minutes before launch. In order after some delays, five minutes, okay. Prepare to cock for launch, okay. Final checks, I suppose. Launch control left. We're familiar with all this. Left, left. Okay. Let me just go through everything else to make sure they haven't forgotten anything. Okay, that's all done. Okay, they're not even gonna let me do that. Alright. We'll get this checklist ready. Primary pilot objective of the first manned orbital flight. Well, you know first American manned orbital flight, is to give detailed reporting of spacecraft system operation. Electrical check, write down the voltage on all batteries. Uh, I assume that was supposed to be batteries. The main bus and the standby bus in your notes. Station check, 
ensure ASCS on and in retro attitude. Note the attitude, attitude rates, retrograde times, cabin pressure, temperatures, oxygen levels, fuel levels, and electrical check. And then there's a 30 minute check, blood pressure check. Start the blood pressure system. Retro sequence areas. And then there's a flight plan, a 60 yaw maneuver, a 180 yaw maneuver, star tracking check. I need to learn how to do star tracking. Um, once the tower jettisons, we can flick that. Let's see the external view. We are, in fact, on an atlas. Very important that they didn't actually supply us with the wrong rocket. And they never actually tell me on this checklist to remove that. It's probably academic since he'll always start the clock anyway. 30 seconds. Well, let's see the external view here. And we're off. I totally haven't checked the clock. Having it roll okay. A little bumpy along about here. Roger. Stand by for 20 seconds. Roger. Two, one, mark. There's a backup clock? I wasn't told about a black backup clock. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll agree with that some vibration area coming up here. There's a lot of vibration area. High Q a little bit. Contrail went by the window. Well, there's some smoke going around. It's moving out. Are we moving out? Through Max Q already? I suppose so. G's are past 5.7, yeah. Uh, we've got 10 seconds to the booster separation. Those are the booster engines on the Atlas. Bingo! Okay. Alright, tower, tower, I need that switch, please. Okay, hold on. There we go. Retro Genesis Falls. <gasps> no, that's not the right switch. Uh, I hope it didn't do it. Genesis Tower is green. Miko booster engine cut off back to 2.5 Gs and climbing. Yep, 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 yep. Auto Jetson Retro is off. Yep. Yep. Uh, I thought I did that already. Oh, that one, yeah. Roger. Okay, so tower has been jettisoned. Check the Beko checklist. Everything is fine. Seco checklist is just that the separation cap is green. So, let's ready to orbit the checklist. Should be in orbit in about a minute and a half. There's serious G-forces all the way up here, you know. The thing is, Atlas is really light, empty. We can use comms to check altitude. We're at 163 kilometers. At least they use kilometers here. Battery check. Everything's at 100%. Temperature check. We don't really have a velocity indicator, do we? I mean, we do have this uh, roll pitch and yaw, so that's basically an ball. 
Okay, G-Force is up to 9 as we get ready for second engine cutoff, or really, whatever you want to call it. Because it wasn't really second, it was lit at the same time as the boosters, but... Rico! Alright. Lots of crates fired, okay. Caps is turning around. Um, I don't think so. The stars are fixed. Uh, the view is not really that tremendous. Uh, turnaround has not started. Maybe that's because I haven't done things. Retro main faults. Okay. Okay, stop, stop talking me. I need to actually... Um, let, let's put it on, uh, on manual. Or maybe... Well, let me put it on manual, it's fine. Go for at least seven orbits. I think they only did one orbit at a time, didn't they? Oh, anyway. Okay, well, alright. Now I can see the, the Earth. Looks like the instrumentation is fine. Let me check roll. Okay, electrical check. I already did the orbit checklist. Let's see, what's the electrical check? doesn't really have one. Uh, it's having me automatically scroll down. What's up with that? Let me... Okay, what's well, my joystick interfering? Write down the voltage on all batteries. Well, uh, we can do that with battery check here. Looks like it's 100% on all of them. Standby bus. Did it mention the standby bus? Yeah, it did. So it says to enter tech. Uh, no, it's okay. 100% on all batteries. Yeah. What's our time? T plus 7. I should. And standby bus. One Bravo is zero zero plus seventeen plus fifty. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Whoops. Orbital period is one hour and twenty eight minutes and twenty five seconds. End of orbit is eleven minutes and fifty three seconds. I really should have noted the time on that. Apogee altitude is six thousand six hundred and ten. Starting your control system check. Uh, sure. Fuel is at 98 to 100. Attain 4 degrees pitch. Okay. Um, what's our attitude? Let me roll a bit. Oh, okay. There we go. That's the wrong way. Plus four degree pitch rate. Hmm. Oh, it's telling me right there what the pitch rate is, so just need to go. There we go. Push manual. I don't want to go to manual anyway. Uh, let me get this. Uh, they're telling me what to do anyway. Push rate command manual. Okay, you can highlight it for me, please. Most of that stuff is over here. Okay, so there we go. Observe rate degrades to three degrees per second. Okay. Set RSCS to auto. Okay, uh, it was to turn on aux there, that's centering that switch. I thought it was just a left or right thing. Okay, set ASCS to aux on. I think it is. Rate command. 
and manual to pull direct. Attain four degree yaw rate. All right. thought that was going to be off, but it isn't. For some reason, what I think is bull, it thinks is yaw. Uh, I think, well, that's four degree yaw rate then. So why is it not happy? Right? It says four there. Well, let me try and go four the other way. That'll be negative four, though. I wanted positive four. Hey, don't fail me now. I got. I'm, I'm doing this. It's actually really hard to hit four exactly. I mean, Roger, Roger, Roger. It's four. Where are you, Roger? Gosh darn it. But it, it, it's reading, I swear it's reading the roll as yaw and yaw as roll, that's why. Dang it. Okay. Oh. Yeah, it was reading the roll as yaw there. Okay, uh, really, Roger? Oh darn. Or if I deny. Roger, Roger. I guess I, I failed that. We're just casually flipping around. I... I should stop... that. Uh, it's not a bad thing. But that's a, that's a good view. Sunrise and everything. So, if we go by the plan, I think I have four hours until I have to do the retrograde because um, John Glenn was up here for three orbits. Otherwise, I don't know about this retrograde time. In theory, if that was a legit retrograde time... Oh, I guess that's the actual time, so... I guess at 60 minutes and 12 seconds we could retrograde. Does that make sense? Not really, if our orbit is an hour and 28 minutes, then why would we be retrograding at 16 minutes? Because 1 hour and 28 minutes means that there's another opportunity to retrograde. Oh, well, but this is not the absolute time that's added to it. Um, still doesn't make any sense. Because that means that the actual retrograde time would have been 4 hours, 31 minutes, 32 minutes. And one orbit before that is three hours, four minutes. An hour, uh, an orbit before that is um, one hour and 34 minutes or something like that. So, yeah, I don't know. In ASCS and holding, are we really? I have one booster in sight out the window. We can have that booster inside out the window. I'm, I have other stuff out the window. I'm good. Fuel on the control systems. 95 to 96 after the control systems check, so it's really reading how much fuel I used. CYI station check. Blood pressure check. Blood pressure check. They repeat that. Please. Do it means means do a uh, blood pressure check. Repeat blood pressure check. Press start on the start blood pressure button. Let it run for 30 seconds, then press stop. Okay. It doesn't have a blood pressure checklist. Okay, I have to find my blood pressure button. You'd think it'd be close to me, but... Uh, is that the blood pressure? Hold on. Right. Oh, there it is. It's there. 
Blood pressure. Start. Ooh. It sounds tight. Where's my clock? Okay, that should be more than enough. Beautiful view of the African coast. Really? Whoa, I need my other view. Mm, that's all land to me. Blood pressure... 128 over 83. My blood pressure is so not 128 over 83, but okay. Sounds good to me. Whatever land that is, it looks awful close. Uh, okay. I don't think I get much more of a scope from out here. Uh, can I tell where I am? Uh, that's this is Northern Africa. Yeah, that's the Strait of Gibraltar, isn't it? This is the Sahara Desert. Underappreciated fact: the world is robust. The atmosphere is tiny. I don't know, there's something... Oh, there, is that the booster? That's the booster, I think. So, we can see from the booster from out here. KNO. I don't know what KNO means. I also don't know about this little flap here. Didn't realize there was that flap on the Mercury. Okay, so we can see the booster from here. Let's see if uh, I go back into the command seat. If I can. Oh, there it is. That's cool. I really need to know how to time warp now. <laughs> I didn't pay too much attention to checking that out. Let's see, uh, input controls. Time scale, oh, it's just the numbers. Time scale 10 seems like a good deal. I don't want to miss any messages. Maybe they don't bother me when, when I'm in time warp, I don't know. Oh, no, they do. We got Zanzibar, Com, Comcheck, or Comtech, whatever. Uh, let's get an altitude check from them. 204 kilometers. Temperature check. Temperatures are fine. All right. Um, what else do we have to do? 30 minute check. We've passed 30 minutes. Check X, Y, and Z. I think X, Y, and Z are fine. Well, we did the blood pressure check. Star tracking is something we haven't really done. Astronaut is satisfied with his ability to hold the star in a fixed position with respect to the spacecraft window. Oh, that, is that all? I was going like, do I have to make some calculations or something? No, apparently not. Just hold the star fixed in the window. And apparently I'm the only one who has to be satisfied with that, so... I guess we can do that manually if they don't make us do it automatically. We'll make sure to do that on the second orbit. We're about to complete an orbit here. So, we should be close to the coast of North America, right? Guamas. Guamas has us. Okay. White Sands has us. There we go. And Corpus Christi. Everybody has us now. Okay, why don't we uh, come out of time warp here. And let's take a quick look for stars. I don't know if there's an automatic system for maintaining star tracking. 
doesn't have that in the mission pad, I don't think. Maybe gyro line should be done at some point. Alright, so we have a star there. Uh, it's sort of drifting. I put it... Let's see, let me try and put it on auto fly-by-wire. I don't know how long we're supposed to track a star for. It's really hard to center it. Now there's the chosen star. I guess I'll just put it on manual for now. I'm satisfied. I'm, I'm good. Alright. Let us time warp again. Oh, oh, they want me to do something. Starting a six degree yaw maneuver. Switch to fly by wire. Okay. Set up low yaw right rate minus two. Okay. Hopefully they'll read it right. Okay. That's still the role that it's reading as y'all. It doesn't understand that that's my... My role. That's my y'all. You can see it's my y'all from the outside. But it's not indicating that that's the y'all. So I think this is bugged at this point. I mean, if the dots on the indicator are any indication, then if I get to the second dot right there, that should be two degrees. But it doesn't understand that. Let me see if the opposite two degrees will work. I doubt it. Well, that not working. I'll try the roll. It doesn't seem like the dots are actually degrees. That would have been helpful. I wish there was a fine control mode. Because it's hard to, with the joystick, hit it. Uh, maybe with some key presses? No, that actually controls my view. Oh, there we go. Well, again, it's actually roll, and it's two degrees there. I can center the yaw, and still, it's not gonna confirm it. Um, we can try yawing to the same amount, right? I mean, if that is in line with that, that should be two degrees of yaw. We could try and fine tune it even more. Let's zoom in quite a lot and really line it up. Uh, not quite. Well, that's that's pretty lined up right there. So that's really two degrees of y'all. Now I'll correct the roll.
Whoa, all the indicators slipped around. Let me try and zero out the roll. We're definitely yawing here. We are not rolling. I can create a roll by doing what it thinks is yaw. You can see it's increased the yaw rate, but that's actually the roll. And I can decrease the yaw, and then we'll be in a more pure roll. Though, I think the gyro needs a little bit of alignment, to be honest. But yeah, this is impossible to do. Well, it says it's over. It's fine. Retro sequence time? Yeah, sure. In the blind for Area 1, Charlie... Okay. Zanzibar copies. Do 30 minute check and a blood ch blood check. Okay, fine. I'll do a blood check. 48, 49, 50. And stop. 118 over 84. Roger. Contingency area 1 delta retro sequence time. Um, sure, why not? Let's get the notes out. Okay, one delta zero zero five up five zero two four. Okay, well I copied that. I have one delta retro sequence times. Okay, we have other retro sequence times. I don't know what to do with all these, but I'm ready to go. One echo is one fifteen forty-two. I don't uh, that M doesn't need to be there. Okay, I don't know what the, these times are in reference to, though. I mean, you know, because obviously they're not T plus four thirty-two. That sounds more like the actual full time. So I mean, like. Affirmative that the flare has been ignited. Do you see anything? Ah, uh, I don't know where to look. Negative. Uh, what about the scope anyway? I see the window. Where is the scope? Wait, there's there's a thing there. Oh, that's not good. No, I don't need that. I don't want red light. Red light means bad things are happening. Do you have any feeling from weightlessness? Heck yes. Or, or bad feeling, they mean. Alright. So, like, if we take a look at this one hotel time, that's pretty close to these two numbers combined, right? Shouldn't they have given me these times before we pass two minutes and nine, uh, two hours, nineteen minutes? I don't know what those times are for. Anyway, we'll just go with what we've got. Oh wow, there's a, there's a lot of messages. I time warp right through them. Okay, Australia, yeah. Uh, make go. Oh, here we go. Have you seen anything special? I saw a star. Go downward. Yeah. Is very visible single band over horizon. Yeah. Oh, I won't be able to see any lights. Kind of passes rapidly. Yeah. Well, I have sight on land. Big pattern of lights. Here, let me start a roll. I might have already passed the point where I ought to have. Oh, well, there's a patch. I'll take that. We'll assume that those are the lights. Perth and Rockingham? Sure, why not? 
Actually, Perth is on the coast, so I don't think that's Perth, but anyway. Thank everyone for turning them on. I feel fine. Visual acuity, excellent. Okay, guys, so we got the message, well, we got our message to ground control that we saw the little fireflies, and we indeed see the fireflies that John Glenn and subsequent astronauts also saw. So that's what we've got here. Apparently, some sort of venting. I mean, uh, little particles. It, it's fine. Don't worry. Nothing, nothing to panic about. All right. So otherwise, everything looks good. Point Arigula. Okay. Oh, we've got a lot of messages piling up. Okay, hold on. Time warp off. Sun came up. Did the sun come up? And oh, we we're talking about the particles again. Uh, I have to copy a whole bunch of other stuff. All right, whatever. Two, Alpha. Oh, finally Area Golf. I was wondering about Area Golf. I don't know if it's supposed to be two golf or not, but whatever. Hotel is... I assume that's that hotel, so that's different now. Yaw is drifting out of orbit attitude. I will bring it back in. No, oh, yeah. Okay, actually it's a little bit off. Alright, fine. And is this a good view? Not quite yet. We'll let pitch drift. Oh, it, it keeps increasing the yaw drift. Uh, okay, so it's drifting. See if it may. Oh, yes, this is something that did happen. So this is just uh, mimicking Mercury Atlas 6. So this is a problem. All right, uh, see if it maintains in different flight modes. Let's try manual. It's still drifting like that. Still drifting like that. Well, I can hold it if it's uh, on aux on. How about normal? Normal goes all awry. All right, auxiliary it is. Fly-by-wire was a problem. Fly-by-wire was where it was drifting. I mean, I was in manual, so... I can't actually turn it right now. This aux does not allow for that. Manual has the drift. Uh, try fly-by-wire here. See? Fly-by-wire, it's drifting. Trying to get that roll right. Um, if I push that back in, it still drifts. So it's only with the auxiliary control that it seems to stay steady. Retro? No, I don't have those. How many retro fire times do I need? <laughs> Honestly, I mean, how many retro fire times do I need? All right, two Bravo, go for it. I mean, I only do one retrofire, right? I mean, it's not like I have to do a hundred of these things. And, you know, some of these have passed, right? It's only one hotel that we can actually do anymore, right? Assuming that that's time from launch. I have no other reference point to base it on. I don't have any other... It, 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 we can do some of these otherwise. Golf is passed, even. I assume the one for one Delta, one Echo, one Foxtrot, those seem to be Orbit 1. And then the two Alpha, two Bravo, two Charlie indicates Orbit 2. Why Why it's one Fox, maybe that's just my, t uh, sorry, why it's one hotel, I don't know. I think that's just hotel. Alright. No one pound thrust in left yet. Whoa, why did the camera change? 
I did not order a camera change. Drifts out over out of limits and then hits it. I don't understand because that's not my experience right now, but okay. I did not change the camera, it's not letting me skip this message. I can bring that up. I think that's pause. What have I done? No, that's the external view, but it's gotten confused. Cockpit view F5, that's fine. Ooh. Dang it, I was so close to finishing, come on. Ah, uh, I think it's stuck. I don't know, it showed me the fireflies and now it's gotten stuck. Ah, uh, man. Two orbits down, one to go, and we're we're here. I've pressed too many things. Well, time to press some more things. Click, 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 click. I can't click anything right. Now. Oh wait. Uh, okay, I got it. Uh, no. I can press escape, but escape does not seem to do anything useful. I, I can go there. This is what escape does. Dark light, dark light. I think it thinks... Because that only shows up when I'm in flight mode. As opposed to the menu mode. So it thinks this is flight mode. Which is why I have Roger there. But it's not moving on from this and it's not showing me the flight. I sure don't want to save this situation. And that's why the menu only lights up when I'm like this. And then when I click resume session, it thinks this is resuming session. Alright, well, I did a few things in the Mercury capsule. Saw fireflies, did, did, a, did a few maneuvers, but couldn't really complete the thing because we came up upon some weird sort of bug right there. There are issues, obviously, but this is what early access is all about. I'll look forward to trying out the Gemini missions. I am a certified Mercury pilot now. That said, so there is that going for us. But I'll leave it here for this video and I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.